So today let's have a look at Ubuntu 10.04. Ubuntu is much like Windows. It comes with all the basic applications you'll need, like calculator, a social broadcast application, a word like program, Firefox web browser, and even has its own video editor. In Ubuntu 10.04 you get this menu where it says application places and system if you click on applications you'll get a list of accessories such as calculator disk usage analyzer the terminal and tomboy notes and tomboy notes we got a few games such as G Brainy, Mines, and Sudoku. In graphics, we got a drawing program, simple scan, and if spot photo manager. In internet, we've got Empathy IM client, which is our Twitter application. We've got Firefox web browser. We've got Transmission BitTorrent client. In Office, we've got OpenOffice, which is uh, Linux and Ubuntu's Word. So OpenOffice is much like Word. We've got OpenOffice Presentation, Spreadsheet, and Word Processor. Of course, we also have Evolution Mail and Calendar. If we go to Sound and Video, we have Brassero Disk Burner, so you can burn all your CDs and DVDs. We got Movie Player, which is the default movie and video player in uh, Ubuntu. We got PTV Video Editor, which is a very nice video editor for Linux. Last but not least, we got Sound Recorder, which is also installed by default. Here we see Ubuntu Software Center. This place is where you download all your applications. So if we click on Ubuntu Software Center, right here we have Ubuntu Software Center. We have accessories, education, funds, games, graphics, internet, office, and much more. So if you want a new video editor, I type in video editor right up in the corner here. Then we get Kino, Avidimux, PTV, which we already have installed, Kino Live and OpenShot. Right here on the Ubuntu Software Center start menu, you can also click on featured applications. Right here we have Audacity, right here we have Audacity, Cheese, which you can use to take photos and uh, record videos with your webcam. We've got GIMP Image Editor, we've got the Movida Media Center. In Places, we got our Home Folder desktop, documents folder, music folder, pictures, videos and download. If I open my pictures folder I'll get a folder just like this where I can change, uh, where I can shift between my home folder and my music, documents, videos and downloads just like in Windows. And here up here I can change between icon view, list view or compact view. I can also search for files by clicking on this by clicking on this uh, icon right here. In system, we got our preferences. 
we got about me appearance bluetooth messaging and VoIP accounts monitors mouse network connections personal file sharing screensaver and sound which I will show you right now in sound preferences you can change between your sound effects right here we have sound theme in hardware we can choose a hardware device in input I can uh, I can adjust my microphone volume and output we can choose a device for sound output so if we right click and go down to change desktop background you can also do this by going to system preferences and appearance you'll get this window saying appearance preferences in backgrounds you can change your background obviously you have the, a few choices in style you can stretch span scale center zoom and tile you can get more backgrounds uh, here by clicking on this link if we go over to theme we'll see this ambience which is the default theme in Ubuntu 10.04 if we scroll down we'll see this radiance which also is a default theme in Ubuntu 10.04 if we go all the way down you'll see three themes that are installed manually um, I've done that by going to this one get more themes online and the link will go to art.gnome.org we can go to fonts we can change your fonts obviously in visual effects we have none normal or extra extra is the compass effects which I want to show you about right now if you go to applications a bunch of software center and search for advanced compass config settings manager you'll get if you go to system preferences you'll get this one right here compass config settings manager if we click on that this window should open and right here you can change between many different effects like the one I'm using now enhanced zoom desktop as you can see we can choose desktop cube and rotate cube which is this one which I'm so showing right now cool effect there we can also choose animations which is these animations when I minimize and when I close and when I open so open animation you can set it to whatever you want close animation minimize animation shade and focus and right here we'll have the wobbly windows so if I check that and do like this we'll have some wobbly windows we have this one called shift switcher I'll show you right now so if I open a few applications such as calculator uh, let's see Firefox and let's see what else uh, DVD and I press shift S I'll get this one that's the one I showed you in the beginning a very cool application a very cool accessory if you want to call it that 
and if we press shift s again we'll go back if you want you can change the settings in each application or each accessory uh, if I go to uh, move window we have the opacity right here so when you s if you see I move my window there's some opacity so I can change that to 100 so there's no opacity I can choose it I can select 0 or 1 so it's gone but I like 50 percent right here the same in rotate cube or desktop cube if you go to rotate cube we'll see some flip time we can change acceleration pointer sensitivity zoom so if I do like this you'll see right here if I change this zoom factor right here it does that once in a while you will get these updates and you will need to install them it's uh, very important that you uh, install them because you basically just need to by doing that you click on install and type in your password and wait for the installation to be done and that's it Rhythmbox is pretty much like iTunes of course right here I can see my iPhone I can click on it and here's all my songs right here we'll see Ubuntu One Music Store the Ubuntu One Music Store is pretty much like the iTunes Music Store as you can see right now I can buy Green Day Pink Floyd Black Keys and Sam Cook. So I click on. No, actually, I'll try to click on hip hop. And right here, there's a few artists. I'll click on A Wax, whatever that that is. Okay, right here, I can play the song, or I can download it, which costs. 99 cents as well as the magnetune store magnetune right here for magnetune is an online record label that is not evil some of the key attributes are free listening of all songs all albums and artists handpicked very simple user interface quick to play music I hope you enjoyed this little video about a few things in Ubuntu 10.04. If you want to check out my channel, do it. It has a lot of Ubuntu videos. So uh, thank you for watching. Rate, comment and subscribe. See you in my next video, maybe. So uh, bye.